without this. And I told him what I'm telling all of you right now is yes, to open up about those other areas, those vulnerabilities, whatever it may be. And don't let it hold you back. Like, that's what built my show, my platform, Elevating Beyond, sharing the story behind the story, was continuing to perfect yourself, continuing to grow, but also continuing to share along the way of those real doubts, of those struggles, and everything that you go through. And it ends up giving people courage to know that if you're going through this and you're not letting it stop you, then so can I. Or if, if you have some corny sense of humor and you're opening up and doing that, like you don't need to hold back and feel like because you're speaking to all upper level executives that you have to perfectly be in, in the suit and, and match the look and act the way that they all act. You don't. There's a reason that they need you for your services. It's because you're you. And if you don't bring in the whole version of yourself, all of it, you'll you'll have success, but you'll only have a certain level of it. It's the more you're able to just bring in so much of that, where that talent meets that passion, as my good man Ken Coleman says, who's on the show tomorrow, that you're able to really take it to another level and have that breakthrough and it starts separating you from this is a crowded space everyone there, there's millions and millions and millions and millions of people that, that are wanting to be paid speakers but but what separates you is there's only one you so if you're not bringing in the parts about it that are specific to you that makes you that one you you're just going to be a template or some branding expert's gonna just make you fit into the mold, not a good one, but someone that, that, that doesn't know everything about how to do it the right way is gonna try to fit you into the mold of what everyone else is, and then you're just a duplicate of everything else, and you're just gonna have that moderate level of success, and you won't really break through, and you won't really feel that full passion of what you're doing. Part of you is going to feel empty. That's a question that I was asking you, Joel, remember? I'm like, I can tell from what you're doing. And, and Joel, you, I know you're having some amazing gigs and you're, and, and you're excited about them and you're doing amazing things and you have the utmost respect for everyone that's hiring you. But I knew another part of you was like, there's other parts of me I, I feel like empty that I'm not opening up and sharing about. And I'm like, the reason you feel empty is because you need to be sharing those. And the reason you have fear about it, the reason you have doubt about it is like everything, it's because it's honestly, it's putting yourself out there out of your comfort zone to be judged at a whole other level, right? Like, isn't that the truth? It comes down to that because you're going to have some people say great things. Some people will be like, you shouldn't have done that. And it, it leaves you vulnerable at another level. Like, to be honest, it is scary. But, but I always say it all the time from someone who's battled fear and doubt and anxiety my entire life. And I continue to, but I've learned the bigger the doubt, the bigger the fear, that means that you're going in the right direction. If you're not having any of that at a higher level, that means that you're really not going after that bigger version of your dream. And personally, I believe in God. And when God says faith without action is dead, God says, like, I'm going to give you the dream, I'm going to give you the vision, but you're going to feel the fear and the action means doing it while you're afraid and then you become courageous along the way. And when people ask me, how did you do that? I'm able to say it because of God. And you see, when you're not doing that, you're not really living out. And I know it's not intentional. I'm not like throwing you under or anything like that. But you realize you're not living out sometimes the real faith, the power that God has put within you to be able to overcome that. And Joyce Meyer, who I love, shares one of my favorite quotes. She says, do everything you can, and then God will do what you can't. But the question I always ask everyone when they're like, I prayed about it and it hasn't happened yet. And I said, but what have you done? Have you done everything you can? 
Because until you keep doing everything you can, then God will do everything you can. And it takes faith to keep doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it and having faith knowing God's going to be showing up, that He's with you along the journey and the fruits will follow and your vision will become a reality. And that's where it takes faith because you persevere through those wide open seas of doubt and you see no land in sight and you wonder when's this going to happen? Am I going to be out here forever? And then all of a sudden, over time, as you keep applying action to that faith, you can either turn around and go back to where you know the land is, go back to that safety, but you'll never make it out to that island where that treasure is buried only for you. That treasure that's only in your heart. And the only way that becomes a reality is by, what I'm saying on this question, is by not holding back. We want more of the real you. We want more of the real everyone on here. The people that judge and all that, it doesn't matter. Like I said, I've never met a hater that was doing better than me. And that's a test. You have to learn to be able to get through that because if you want to make it to a whole other level, you're going to have a lot more fans and with that, you're going to have a lot more critics. Where much is given, much is required. So this is putting the reps in right now. So you should be doing it. 